I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I actually need to start getting ready before I cry. <laughs> that is my idea of a pre-drink. Let's go to a Disney premiere. It's giving season. <laughs> it's giving. It's giving Christmas season. <laughs> it is giving Christmas season. <laughs> no better feeling. Josh doesn't even know yet, so this is gonna be fun. Can we take a moment for what's in the background? <laughs> Welcome back. Hello strangers. It has been the longest time and I am so embarrassed to admit it because I came into September like, right, let's go, let's vlog, weekly vlog. And has it happened? No, it is the 20th of November. Oh, I've got, oh, got a missed call from Jamie, hang on. Okay, he hasn't answered, but obviously, I'm now vlogging, I'm now back. It is about to become the most wonderful time of the year and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Please don't ever let me do that again. <laughs> well, I need to make myself at home because as you can tell, I'm not at home. I'm actually in London. I'm staying in London for the night. It's Monday and we are kicking the week off with a bang. So I thought, what better way to get back into YouTube? We'll have a big old catch up later on in the vlog, but what better way to get back than to bring you guys along to the start of the week and for the rest of the week. But yes, today is super exciting. It's half four in the afternoon and I need to get ready pronto because I've actually been invited to Disney's London premiere of Wish. Q song. I'm so excited. enough of that because I'm about to go watch the film. I'm so, so excited. I've got a dress. I actually bought a dress in the Black Friday, early Black Friday sales from Warehouse. I will show it you in a minute. I picked up from the station coming in a prep because I haven't eaten since breakfast. So I need to get this down me because I am hungry. I've got me a ginger shot. We've got some water. And the hotel I'm actually staying at, the loveliest, loveliest, loveliest human called Seisha. If she is watching this, she might not be, but if she is, thank you. So I checked in, I had a good old little catch up with her and she was actually in the year below me at drama school and she gave me a little cheeky upgrade, which I am just, it has made my day and it's just me seeing here. So you know what? We are living it up. And she left me the loveliest card. So, oh, oh, I'm just so happy. <laughs> and you know what? I've not actually been back in London for ages. So coming in, it was really, really exciting. So I just thought, let me treat myself. We're gonna do a night away, have a little bit of pampering. And I thought I'd vlog it. I thought I would pick up the camera. I've charged up my batteries. The SD cards are ready. We are ready to go. <laughs> Even though I don't have the time to do it right now, I should be getting ready for the premiere. I thought I'd give you a little room tour because it's not every day that I do this. So we're gonna start at the door. Just put my jacket up there. But how cute, I actually love this mirror. It's so, so nice. But yeah, we start in here. And as you can tell straight up, I've already opened the door to the most gorgeous bathroom. I am taking inspo. We've got the shower over here, which I can't wait to use. Obviously the toilet, the most amazing robes in the world. But how stunning. I can't wait to get ready in here. Then we come out here. How beautiful is this wallpaper, by the way? I am obsessed. Love the lamp. But here is the room, a little overview from the room. Who needs this bed? It's just me, just me. However, they are super, 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 super comfy. I've got my suitcase down here ready to go. I've actually already popped up my dress and this is my dress, guys. Uh, you can't really see it that well because it's super dark, but it's this beautiful, oh, I don't want to pull it off the wardrobe. This beautiful ruffle dress from Warehouse. It's so, so nice. I, I just, I can't wait to wear it. Got some gorgeous gold sparkly heels from New Look and then I'm going to go in and take my coach bag, obviously, as my little accessory. Now I am a little bit nervous for the premiere because it's my first Disney premiere, but I feel, oh my gosh, I, I, like, I actually have no words. It's a little bit emotional because if only young Megs would know that when she's 25, <laughs> she was gonna go to a Disney premiere. I actually need to start getting ready before I cry. <laughs> I've just realized I've done my whole face bar the final touch because I was on FaceTime with my mum and dad having a bit of a catch up. So I'm so sorry. Maybe tomorrow I'll do like a chatty get ready with me with my makeup and um, just sort of like an everyday makeup. But I've actually used um, Charlotte Tilbury's, what's it called? Easy Eye Palette for the Charlotte Darling look. Um, but I've only used the, the white one on the end here, sort of, sort of like shimmer. And it's given that really lovely subtle, because I'm not like a big 
eyeshadow gal. I'm not all heavy on the eyes. But yeah, just going to go in with the airbrush, airbrush flawless setting spray. Party all day, stay all night. So, ready? Hold my breath. And then we just, I've still not eaten yet, guys. Um, but also, it's a, it's a big faff now. I've got, I'm going to have to catch you up majorly with my Invisalign. I'm almost halfway through. How exciting is that? Um, but the taking out, the brushing my teeth, the whole faff. But I need to brush my teeth anyway before I go. So I do need to take them out. The best hairspray in the world. I might do a little, one final little curl. So the makeup is done bar one final bit of lip oil, which I'm actually going to pack in my handbag and take with me. Um, I need to grab my perfume. I'm going to... Can you hear the stool? <laughs> I am massively running out of this. My favourite, favourite perfume ever. So it might have to be a little Christmas treat to myself, but it just lasts on me for so long. It's impressive by pet... <laughs> It's Impressa by Penhaligans. It's safe to say that I'm a little bit nervous, but um, yeah, I'm actually meeting Jamie. I don't know if I've said on the vlog yet, I've asked Jamie to come with me as my plus one. So he will definitely help relax me. But gosh, I'm actually just really excited to watch the film. That is my idea of a pre-drink. These are the heels that I'm wearing. They're from New Look. As graceful as always. How's this? Now, I've not got my contacts in nor my glasses on, so I can't see if I'm in this or even if it's in line. How cute are they? I feel like a princess. So I'm just going to do the final touches, pack my bag, get everything ready and go meet Jamie. I'm so excited. So let's go to our Disney premiere. Look who are we are. In a matching Long suit. Time my this camera come out in how long? I know, I told them Vlogmas earlier. Vlogmas last year. I know, I told them earlier. I was like, I can't believe it. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> this is going live during December. This hopefully will go live before Sunday. So are we talking? Everyone in the comments saying Meg needs to do Vlogmas. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to come back, I'm going to come back with a bang. Oh, yeah, with absolutely. an absolute with a festive bang. bang. Um, but we've just arrived. We've got our tickets, which are it's here. It's so exciting, It's so exciting. Um, I am so nervous. I'm, like, sweating. I'm getting a sweaty upper lip a lot. The Zula. The Zula. Sweaty the upper Zula. lip But it's mad. The, honestly, the atmosphere it's is... incredible. Insane. It's and special. we are... Do you know what I mean? Because it's, like, your first, like... My first Disney, Disney. And look, Jamie used to work for Disney. I did. Fun fact. Work. It feels very surreal, like, being on the other side. Because yeah. I used to work on some of the, like... Yes. So, so like, if you were still there, the side, yeah. yeah, that was so true. It's amazing. But honestly, this is our view currently. But we've got this, we're in the line. Can you see over there? Oh, I'm not going to flip you around, but... Getting ready for the blue yeah, carpet. Yeah, the, the blue carpet. Which I love. But the, the dress code was red carpet ready. It should have been blue carpet ready. It should have been, but I mean, we have come matching. We have come matching. Sorry, look at him. So hopefully, in a minute, I can in 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 lut, insert some photos and you'll see the atmosphere from here to us going and getting our seats. But oh my it's god, I'm so excited! Oh, it's gonna be a fabulous evening. Start of the festive activity. I also don't know anything about this film. Because you've like listened to the soundtrack, I have not. I've been a naughty Disney fan. No, the whole soundtrack hasn't come out yet. Oh. But oh my god, you're in for a we'll treat. We'll get a sneak preview today. Yeah, actually, I'm ready. You I'm are. ready. Oh, everyone looks so gorgeous. <laughs> Stop. It's mesmerizing. Disney. And the hard work that goes on behind the scenes is amazing. Oh yeah, like, you know that for, for sure. For us to do it, it's yeah. just so special. It's just unreal. Yeah. Like what they've done to Leicester Square is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Let's okay, you guys are ready. <laughs> I literally live by this, like every single day. I've never let it come out of my bag. Actual thing, sorry, can we, I'm leaving main character moment right now. It's, it's really, really nerve-wracking. Look at this, everyone. And this is what we're going to take. 
ready? Yes. yes. In the bag. Look at the merch that we've got going on from Disney. I actually can't believe it. I'm actually oh, a stunning. child trapped inside of a 25 Me too, holiday. babe. Me too. Like, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Christmas presents. Stop it, the dress. You need the Don't. dress. I'm getting broody. Rupert can be the Disney princess. No, he should be the little... Um, the little star. The little star. Rupert can be the star. Rupert the star. Oh my God, angel boy. Right, He's hopefully an angel boy. we can go grab a drink. We've done the carpet. That sounds lovely. We... I've helped done our photos. I'm kind of like shaking. Yeah, I'm shaking. I think Ooh. I need a drink to calm my nerves because, yes. gosh, people think you do that every day, but you really don't. But anyway, no. we're going to hopefully come grab a drink and I think I might need to put my camera away. <gasps> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. No Thank, Thank you. you Cheers. Much. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I've already had some. We're in. We've got our Prosecco. Prosecco is given. We're sat in our seats, I ready you, to go. You know what? I thought you just said Prosecco was giving. The Prosecco is giving. The Prosecco is, is giving. Did you see that thing about like Christmas? What do you mean? The season. About Christmas? The se uh, um, it's giving season. Did you see that? It's the it's giving season. It's like giving it's, season. It's, it is giving season. It is giving because season. Because we, we are giving all that the presents, all the love. Season. It's giving season. <laughs> it's giving. It's giving Christmas season. <laughs> it is giving Christmas season. <laughs> this is like an early Christmas present being at Disney Premier with Prosecco and popcorn. It actually is. I it's isn't it next salt? week is December? Yes, first. Scary. And then it's Christmas at Kew Gardens. Yeah, we are. We're doing Christmas at Kew Gardens, oh God, guys. Which is so exciting. We haven't been. Did we go last year? No, no year, year before, before. Year before. Do you know no, what? I might just believe it. I might just put some music over it. Yeah. Just, <laughs> and then Ash just burst out laughing. It's, um, <laughs> it's the TikTok you did with me of the Bueno, you didn't, didn't hear this, this from me. Some little. And then he told me the gaggiest word. I was. Of at the time. At the time. Oh my god. At the time. Yeah, at, at the, the time, time it was. But anyway, all the festivities are coming. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're so excited and this is just kicking it off. So I'm going to see you on the other side after the movie. Love you and leave um, because you. Hopefully cinemas... tears down the eyes. Oh yeah. Because we cry at everything. We cry. We are emotional we people and recently I'm emotional. So I'm going to have a catch up with Jamie. We're going to yeah. drink off Seco, eat our popcorn. Have a lovely, have a lovely cinema evening. watching yeah. and evening. Yeah. And then I will see you guys on the flip side of the movie. Once we've been Disney-fied. I can't wait to Disney-fied. <laughs> I love being Disney-fied. Wow. <laughs> Chief Creative Content Officer for Walt Disney Animation Studios and writer, exec producer of Wish, please welcome Jennifer Lee. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming tonight. Um, Wish is a love letter from all of us at Walt Disney Animation Studios to this history that we all share together in Disney. Thank you. A very emotional day, you know. I feel like I'm really red and puffy under the eyes. No, you look beautiful, my darling. I literally just turned to Megan You look gorgeous. <laughs> look, they're already taken down. Taken down everything so quickly. What a fabulous night. An amazing evening. Jamie sobbed. When it hit the end in like, the credits. Pretty hard. Like it was like Meg seemed quite resilient. Um, hundred percent. It was so motivating. It was it was so inspirational. 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 It was inspiring. <laughs> it was beautiful. It, it was, was just gorgeous. The whole thing was just amazing. It was just so Disney. Like yeah. it was traditional raw. What do we real Disney, a love letter to Disney? Disney. Disney. It was beautiful. It really Absolutely was. beautiful. Honestly, oh. I'll give you a full on catch up when I'm back, but it was a just so good. Your heart beats. Jamie has been the gentleman that he is, and he's just dropped me off. Always, I'm the Richard Gere of your life. You are sorry, the Richard Gere. Sorry, Josh. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> but he's just going to check where you're going. Yeah. You got it easy. Yeah, northern. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. You got it. Okay, you sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, 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 yeah, sure. Yeah, perfect. Sure. Thank you for walking me back. It's been such a good day, hasn't it? It's been the most wholesome. Romantic. Go watch Wish. Yes. Go watch oh, Wish. A million percent. Right, text me at home. Yes. Promise yes. me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. Love you. Okay. Wow. Call me if you need yeah. to. Love you. <laughs> Hi, team. So, I've just come back to the room and I'll tell you one thing that I never, ever, 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 ever get used to um, is a turn down service. And they actually think someone's with me tonight because they've put two glasses and two cans of water on either side of the bed. But I need to show you the pillows because they look heavenly. Can we just take a moment? Look, let's do a pillow test. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's like a cloud. Sorry, sorry. Can we just take a minute? Can we take a minute? But anyway, water's here. 
got some water over there. I've just put my phone on charge. My goodness, I've just said bye to Jamie. I was like, are you sure you don't want to come in? And he was like, no, I've got work in the morning. It's okay. Gosh, what a movie. Thinking about it now, actually, I can see why Jamie cried because it was, it was honestly like a love letter to Disney. There were so many little, is nuggets the word? Nuggets of like, oh, they're called something and I can't think of the word. It's really going to annoy me. Little, let's just say golden nuggets of information that reference Disney. So there was a bit with a massive red apple which represented Snow White. There was a bit where one of the characters is inside a glass jar with a rose and obviously Beauty and the Beast. Peter Pan was in it. It was amazing. So it comes out on the 24th of November. Depending on when I upload this, it might be just before the 24th. It might be, it might have already come out in the cinema. So uh, yeah, make sure to go watch it because it's amazing. We were sat there and we were like jamming in with the music. You wanted to get up on your feet. We clapped in the movie. It was just so, so good. So thank you so much, Disney and the team that invited me. I am just, oh, I'm gonna go to sleep with really, really sore cheeks because I just smiled the whole way. What an experience. But gosh, I need to, I need to relax. I need to take my makeup off, take this dress off, pop a robe on, do my skincare and, and turn down for the night. Ta-da, she's ready for her evening skincare routine. Okay, I really don't know how safe this is. I'm currently balancing you on the pull-out mirror on the little concertina bit on my tripod. So if you fall, I'm so sorry. And I'm also sorry to myself because I don't want to damage my camera. But anyway, whilst we're here, we're gonna roll with it. Let's get in to our evening skincare. And now there is nothing more oh, goodness feeling than doing your skincare in a hotel room. I love it so much. The bathrobe is on. I've got all my skincare products laid out here. And most importantly, importantly, most important, most importantly, Importantly, bloody hell. These, I'll link them down in the description because if you don't have them, you need to have them. You can get them off Amazon and you can get like a pack of six or something like that. Same with the, with the headbands. But they just go on your wrists, just like this. They're amazing and they stop all the water running everywhere. Actually, before we do a first step, I'm gonna take out my Invisalign to, to clean them. Ah, two seconds. Whilst we're on the topic of Invisalign, I am on, oh, I've just pulled out all the tissue from the, oh, whoopsie, let's use that. Whilst I'm on the topic of Invisalign, it always feels so weird when they're taken out because I'm now so used to using the retainers. I am 12 weeks in, so I haven't got my elastics on at the minute because the little attachment to hook my elastic on keeps falling off. So I'm due to go to the dentist really soon. He'll pop it back on again. But last time I went and it fell off, um, he said that he used the strongest tooth glue possible. And the fact it keeps falling off is just, something's not right there. So they're gonna figure that out. Um, but yeah, he said it's not the end of the world not using the elastics, but the elastics do help with the bite. To take off my makeup, I'm gonna use my Elemis. <laughs> Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. You guys, I go through this stuff. Not quickly because it lasts forever, but honestly, the minute I see that I've got a near empty tub, I need to go get myself another one. But the smell, especially if you've got a bit more sensitive skin like me, um, it's just so super gentle and yeah. And we rub it and oh, no better feeling. So yeah. Invisalign, it is going really well. I am enjoying it. It really has become a part of my lifestyle. That is what they say. They do say that when you start it, it really does just become a part of your day-to-day -day routine. So I've got into a really good habit in the morning, taking them out, obviously brushing my teeth, having my breakfast, putting them back in. Yeah, it is, it is really, really helpful. So if you want a bit more of an in-depth discussion on Invisalign, I will... I will do that, but yeah, just let me know down in the comments that I'm so excited to see my new teeth, especially in the new year, because I'm due, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I am due to have them taken out just after my birthday. So hopefully by then we're pretty much near the end. The state of me right now, oh, there has been 
about two or three times where I have picked up the camera, I have filmed a vlog, Josh will be able to tell you, and I've just not finished it or edited it and put it together, but I think it's because life and work did get really busy, but I am 100 and 20% throwing myself all in next year. I just love that I'm talking to you like this. Take it off my makeup. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't actually pack much skincare because I was running out of space in my suitcase. So I literally have the most minimal skincare routine today, but without a doubt, always, always, always moisturize before you go to bed because then you always wake up with the softest face in the world. But I am going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Recovery Eye Serum, and this is a fave, a strong fave of mine. Just use a tiny little blob like that there. And because it has this sort of metal end, it's lovely and cooling. On your eye, it's just so soothing. I actually love vlogging so much because I feel like I'm never alone. That is why I love vlogging. I love it so much. Also to document all the memories. Next up, I'm gonna go in. I have to do it, but my nails aren't actually long enough to do it at the minute. Um, I'm gonna use the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream and this, guys, this is working wonders. Elemis is a brand I love, I love to treat myself to because I actually just know that the money that I'm spending is worth spending it because I see the results, if that makes sense. Oh, it smells amazing, it feels amazing, and I will always wake up in the morning with the most moisturized, dewy skin. And then next, a little mini that I've got. I actually bought this before I went on holiday and she's working through it. It's the Caudalie Beauty Elixir and this smells amazing amazing it is so so good sometimes i pop this on my face with a full face of makeup just to give that extra little bit of bit of life back to my skin but especially in the evening and at night oh my gosh it just does something and we all love that glowy complexion i love it so that's actually my little skincare routine for the evening and i get home tomorrow i will give you a little bit of a house update because a lot's happened you guys, a lot has happened. And this is the thing, I wanted to vlog loads. You know me, I'm an Aries and I'm spontaneous. If I get the itch to do something, I have to do it until that itch is gone. So yeah, it's it's been one of those sort of moments. We've finished off the living room. I did some upcycling, but yeah, I'll tell you all about that. There's a little bit of change happening in the bedroom. It's really, 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 really exciting. So I will do that when I get back with you tomorrow. I'm going to brush my teeth now, brush my teeth, FaceTime Josh, have a catch up with him after he finishes revising and go to bed. And I think I'm gonna have the nicest night's sleep ever, but I will catch up with you all in the morning. Mwah! <laughs> everyone oh let me turn off the radio i had a lovely relaxing morning i have had my coffee i've got on with some work and now i'm packing all my bits up to head out to the event that i need to go to today um really really excited just to go have a little browse and see what's going on over there but oh my god i slept like a baby i slept like a baby i sent josh a photo of the bed when i woke up and my pillows were like this and i was just I had the best night's sleep ever. I woke up thinking about the movie as well. I was just like, it's amazing. I need to go book to go watch it again because I need it in my life. I need it in my life. Yeah, I'm just gonna get everything ready, pack all my bits up and head off. But yeah, just, it feels really weird waking up in London when obviously we used to live here for so long and now we don't. It's just, yeah, a bit strange, a bit strange. But anyway, let's pack up my suitcase and check out and head off for the day. <laughs> oh, I'm also going for a bit of a no makeup vibe. The glasses are on, the hair is brushed. I had a body shower earlier, um, but I was just like, no, I can give my hair a little, maybe a couple more days. I'm trying to do that thing where you like 
wait and wait and wait before you have to wash it but right now it's okay i'm home i'm home feels like a song i'm home i'm home da -da 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 i don't know i feel awkward now <laughs> so we are a little bit later on in the week Megan. Ah! Guys, it was an ordeal, a little bit of an ordeal. So Roops went to the groomers last week and everything was fine. And basically he's just been cut a little bit too short on his paws. So over the weekend, we were just kind of like watching his paws and they were just getting redder and redder and bigger and bigger. We've been to the vets now, don't worry. Um, he was basically chewing at it and yeah, it just caused himself to have a little bit of irritation and itchiness. So I took him to the vets on Tuesday and ev everything was fine. They've just given him some tablets and a cone to wear. But when he wears the cone, he doesn't move. Like he literally doesn't move. And to be fair, we're now three days in and three days he's all okay now though. So that's the, that's the most important thing. And Tuesday and Wednesday, I was just trying to get on with some work that I needed to do before I wrap up my week early this week, which I'm really, really, really excited about um, because tomorrow, so it's Thursday today, tomorrow we are actually heading to the Cotswolds. Me and the girls are having a girly weekend for our friend Alex's birthday and we've booked an Airbnb, it's got a hot tub, we've got a themed night. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be so, so wholesome and a well needed break with the girls. Amongst the whole chaos of trying to get work done, stay on top of my life admin and all of that i have just been to pick up a christmas tree not not at all that we need another christmas tree but the christmas tree we've had we've had it for three years now and last year was the first time putting it up in this house and it's one of those trees that has the sort of like snow effect but they're like plastic little walls and they just kept falling off the tree and i think it's because it was coming to the end of its life of the tree it was just all on the floor we were constantly hoovering up i was always a bit worried about rupert inhaling it um so i was like you know what i'm gonna buy the same tree basically it's ex exactly the same tree just without the little white snow effect so picked it up from argos it was a habitat tree habitat 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 tree a seven foot up swift something or other like that it's in the car because i just haven't been able to muster up the courage to bring it back in. I mean, carrying it out of Sainsbury's, I was like, please no one look at me and everyone was looking at me. So I did that. And then I also have a few bits from TK Maxx that I popped to last week to just go have a little mooch and I ended up getting quite a few bits. So I thought, let's go grab the tree. I want to put the tree up and just have it in place so it's set because then tomorrow I think I'm gonna start decorating just before I head away for the weekend. So Josh can have the decorations whilst I'm not here, but it's getting to the end of November and I'm just like, I need to decorate, I'm getting so itchy. So as long as I can put the tree up, I can fluff about with it and then I can decorate in the morning, but that's gonna be a whole nother video. So make sure you look out for that. That will probably go live next week. I'm hoping, if I'm on it enough, I'm hoping I'm gonna get this up on Sunday so you guys can watch sunday and yeah if you are let me know in the comments if you're watching on sunday because oh my gosh that would mean the world but yes let's go get the tree from the car bring it in and then my friend Heather's coming over josh is out tonight with work he'll be back really late so i invited head over and we're gonna have dinner at home and just a nice little catch up on the sofa before we head away for the weekend which is just oh my god i'm so excited alexa play christmas hits Playing Christmas hits by various artists from Apple Music. What are we gonna have? Are you hiding from everyone? There you go, you're gonna say hello to everyone now. Say hi YouTube, hi YouTube. Oh my good boy, my good boy. Also, I've realised I need to give you guys a little house tour, a little update, so I might do that at the end of the vlog. Look, here's a little sneak peek. Let's go and get the Christmas tree out the car. Good boy, good boy. Oh, what's this? Is it the Christmas tree? Oh my God. <laughs> Josh doesn't even know yet, so this is gonna be fun. This is a hack to anyone that doesn't have a real fireplace. Go on YouTube and type in fireplace wallpaper in 4K and it actually crackles as well, but I have just turned that off. You loving that, are ya, cozy boy? I wanted to show you what I picked up from TK Maxx. Now, I've actually kept it all in the bag. 
like this. It's a little bit heavy, this one. Some of these are presents, so I'm not actually gonna show you everything. The first thing, <gasps> Rupert's coming over straight away. How did you know that was for you? How did you know that was for you? I'm baffled. So this, Rue, okay, wait, sit then. So this, oh, uh, wait, <laughs> cheeky boy, sit, wait. Wait, good boy. So because Rue hasn't been very well recently, mum wanted to get him a festive toy for the holidays, okay? So this is a little reindeer. It says holiday, Rue, holiday dog toy. He loves, he loves that sound. Wait, wait, what are we gonna call him? Rudy, should we call him Rudy? Oh, thank you. Thanks very much, wait, take it then. The next thing, it's not. Christmas or a TK Maxx haul without picking up a mug. Josh is going to kill me, honestly. I found this mug that says Joy on it and it just gives me white company vibes and I'm here for it, but with a little bit of red. The shape of it's amazing. The handle is great. I think it was 3 dollars Amazing, so when we actually decorate the tree, I'm gonna have myself a hot chocolate or a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, something nice and sugary, a proper hot brew. Now this isn't for you, that was for you, that's it, okay? You get everything all the time. This is for mum, but yeah, so happy with that. Again, it wouldn't be a TK Maxx haul without some candles, oh my gosh, the smell. I forgot what these were like. Oh my gosh, I think I picked up. It's a candle, Rue, it's a candle. I picked up, hang on, what, there you go, one. There's no judging over here on this channel, okay? I may or may not have gone a little bit overhaul on the candles. But you know what, this year so far, I didn't pick up any autumnal candles from TK Maxx, only winter ones. First of all, the packaging, beautiful. And with a lot of these candles, once they're... And the best bit about these candles, I also find the TK Maxx ones, you can save the jars once they're fully burnt through and they're just so beautiful. So this is winter pine and evergreen and oh my goodness. And that smells festive. That gives me Christmas vibes. And to be fair, I think the reason why I picked four was because I had a room in mind for each one. So then I had classic panettone and oh my gosh, baked and fruity and soft. Oh my gosh, that was just amazing. So this I was thinking in the kitchen because it's giving all the festive baking. This gorgeous red candle. Now this, oh, this one I'm thinking for upstairs in our bedroom or on like the sort of landing bit. It has those hints of fruitiness, but it's also quite delicate. So not really as impactful as the panettone. Is it panettone or panettone? I'm gonna say panettone because it sounds fancy again white company vibes i had to go for a big one because the one that i'm gonna have on the table that you guys are on now our coffee table i wanted a big one that i could just burn throughout the whole month because that's it's the candle that gets the most used currently i've got i mean there is literally nothing in there i've just been so lazy and i've not dusted it all out and got all the and got all the candle wax out because something like this i would keep this and and i'd use that for like cotton pads or or sweets or do you know anything like that so yeah you get my vibe with that this big one is oh my gosh white christmas and it's one of the dw homes ones which in tk maxx are the best i wasn't a big fan of the lid but to be fair it's not gonna have the lid on anyway so i think i might just get rid of that straight away i i have a bit of an obsession at the minute with coffee table books i love them they go on the window sills they go in the kitchen everywhere on the coffee table everywhere i love them and and i like getting ones that people can read and i found this for 30 pounds down from 60 half price literally half price the louis vuitton mark jacobs book but my favorite part is taking off the paper so the plan of action for this is to take off the cover and then you have the most beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful bind of gold foiling and on the front as well. So this was more of a home decor piece, but also I thought the white and gold, great for Christmas. And then a book that I'm actually going to pop in the bedroom. This is a Christian Dior, The Illustrated World of a Fashion Master by Megan Hess. What a great name. And this was 14 dollars But the thing that got me for this 
was the gold paper. Oh my gosh. So yeah, just another book to have around the house to style up on furniture. How stunning is this? This beautiful gold ornament that I can already see going on the TV unit that I upcycled. Lots to tell you about that. But I just thought this was stunning and it was 16 99 so a little bit spenny, but it's actually really quite heavy. And I thought it's a piece. There you go, it's just gonna sit there. It's just gonna sit there in front of the camera. It's just a piece that I can use year on year on year. I'm really getting into the mindset of getting decorations that I can bring out every single year and not sort of start to dislike. And to be fair, I did start doing that a couple of years ago. So I think I'm on the right track. Oh my goodness, I have seen these everywhere. This beautiful little house. I thought this was a tea light, light up house. And it's not. It's an actual light up house. These houses that light up, Christmas decorations, they they just make me feel so nostalgic and a little bit emotional. But let me turn that off to save the battery. But this was $4.99, $4.99 for this. It's giving rustic farmhouse and I love this. I was so happy that I managed to get that. And then finally, this beautiful tree decoration. Obviously we've got Rupert sniffing it out assessing it don't worry no harm no harm just a decoration now i was thinking this to go either in the kitchen on the windowsill or in the hallway on the table in the hallway an extra little rustic element both sides so i can have it have it either way i think that way because you've got the smaller trees in front but i love this and this was 7.99 so again a christmas decoration that i'm going to keep for years to come i love you he loves having his ear played with your daddy got you onto that didn't he Can we take a moment for what's in the background? Well, good morning. It is Friday and as you can tell, I did something last night. So Heather came over and we had dinner and we also tried on our costumes for tonight. Obviously the weekend away we're doing, we've got a little themed night, TV and film inspired characters. And we're actually going as Lizzie McGuire and Isabella from the Lizzie McGuire movie. This is where dreams are made of. We've got the headset, everything. Really, really excited about that. But yeah, we tried on our costumes. We had some dinner. Heather got on with some work. And then I was like, Heather, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start putting up the tree. Not even think, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm actually gonna do it. So yeah, the Aries in me, the uh, spontaneous stubbornness came through and I was like, I'm gonna do it. So she helped me attach the lights together because it is a pre-lit tree, which is actually really, really helpful. I think I might put a few more on there, maybe. I mean, it looks great in the background of this video right now, but as you can tell at the top, I tried, and have also helped me try, to do a bow. So the bows are everywhere at the minute, all over my Pinterest, all over my TikTok, all over my Instagram. And I thought they look cute, I'm gonna get on board that hype. Ordered some ribbon, but basically the ribbon's a bit too red. So I need like a more muted red, like a burgundy sort of color. So I'm gonna have to reorder them, going to use the red bow and the red ribbon that I have for uh, wrapping up presents because I've got a red ribbon and a green ribbon. So I'm gonna use that and save that for that. Yeah, so I ended up doing that last night, headed to bed, um, did the close down shift and then I was like, I'm just gonna go to bed. I was actually planning this morning to decorate the rest of the house and I thought, you know what? No, Megan, stop rushing everything. I have had, literally you can see it in the corner of the video, I've had a little delivery arrive this morning. I'm gonna show you everything that I got in there, but I just thought I'm gonna go away, enjoy the weekend and not have to worry about the chaos of the house with decorating. I just love it. So you better start getting used to this little setup. I popped a hair mask in this morning because I'm gonna go have my everything shower before I start getting ready and packing for our little weekend away. Um, but yeah, I just thought for now, let me open up the boxes that came first thing this morning, which was amazing. So I've ordered some bits from the Suffolk Nest and I've ordered from there before. So on our kitchen table, we have a big bunch of artificial flowers and 
they look so real they are very like spring summer vibes so i wanted to change it up so i was like you know what let me just buy a winter set so then with the winter bunch i can use that through autumn and winter and then probably around february march time i'll switch it back to the spring set just for me it just makes me feel so happy um so yeah so i ordered that and some other little bits so let me oh my god and again, I'll do my best to link everything down below. So these, so what I ordered, I ordered three sets of houses. So similar to the one from TK Maxx yesterday, but these ones are for tea lights, like actual tea lights. They are so gorgeous. So here's the first one. And then right at the back, you pop your tea light in there. And I actually do have some battery tea lights, so they'll be really helpful. And just flick them on every single evening from probably three o'clock when it starts to get dark. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh. And then to have them all together. Oh my gosh, just stunning. And just look, together. I'm speechless. I, oh, just makes me so happy. So, so happy. Oh, I love it. I definitely, I've got a lot to do today. So, probably shouldn't be unboxing my parcels now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh, and here's the big one. So yes, yeah, so I think I got the small, medium and large how stunning is that so they don't they don't even have to be all together i can place them around the house i really wanted to have a good couple of houses that i can like pop together so these three obviously are all the same and the one i got from tk maxx is like more of a rustic sort of colored one this is the big bunch of flowers which i should have got earlier in the autumnal season but i just held off and now i'm like if i'm decorating i'm doing it properly Oh my gosh, they're stunning. <gasps> and they're artificial. Artificial flowers, again, are one of those things you can keep for years and years and years. I'm sorry, can we just... Wow. So I'm gonna pop this into the kitchen. The berry tones, the dark purples, the neutrals, the, the woody, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is time for my everything shower i managed to get on with some work just some little bits and bobs had and stuff i needed to do and tidied everything away ready to get out all the decorations on monday after the weekend i am so excited like even just having the tree up oh it just gives me all the feels so i'm gonna end off the vlog here i hope you've enjoyed i know it was a little bit sporadic just got to come back, practice makes perfect, you know, and yeah, I just wanted to document some bits, get back into YouTube, and thank you guys for watching and sticking along and patiently, patiently waiting for me to finally pick up the camera, so yeah, I hope that's a nice little bit of an update, got plenty more of updates to come and to talk to you about, so for now I'm going to go jump into the shower, have my everything shower, get all ready, pack my suitcase, ready to go for our girly weekend, which I'm really, really, really excited about. If you are new, please do subscribe and stick around. It's a promise that I'm making and I'm sticking to. There are so many more videos to come and festive videos at that. I'm just so excited to get back into it. It just makes me feel over the moon. So yeah, please do subscribe, like, drop me a comment, you know the shindig, all of that jazz, you know how it is. But for now, I'm going to sign off and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah! Bye!